Yo, what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you folks are here. Back again for another special video and today we're going to be reviewing something that I've been wanting to review for a long time. Uh, I've been wanting to review this um, scent for a long time because I love Cavendish. Um, we'll get more into that, but first off, I want to welcome everybody in. I hope you guys are doing well. Really do. I really hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great morning or afternoon or evening here. Um, hopefully the week is going well. If you're watching this on the weekend, hope you're having fun, relaxing. Um, but as always, uh, want to say I appreciate you. If you're new, my name is Silky Creamy, and I do uh, very niche uh, review videos. I go into detail on the uh, products of, you know, shaving products and skincare products, and then uh, take a look at the labeling and the product itself, and then uh, we read from the artisan, the inspiration behind the product, and also what scent notes are in there, and so. The idea is is that we get a better understanding of this product and um, hopefully this will help uh, you um, maybe make a decision on whether to get it or not um, so uh, for those of you that are subscribers um, I appreciate you so much you guys uh, really make this um, channel um, <sighs> just channel work and um, it's your energy it's your unique perspectives everybody here has their own unique perspective and it's so cool to see everybody i mean it's so funny everybody has their own little personality and um i mean i love that everybody has it's it's, it's i don't know it's just communities are so so cool because everyone is so different in their own way and and i love that about everybody um just so different and that's such unique experiences and perspectives so as always, I appreciate you. If you've been watching and you, you're you not subscribed, hey, join the family. Come join us. Uh, but anyway, let's get started, folks. Today, we're going to be doing Cavendish. For those of you that are not aware of what Cavendish is, Cavendish is a type of tobacco scent, right? Um, and so basically, it's a unique blend of like usually cherry and um, other tobaccos. Um, whenever I think Cavendish, I think Kentucky, I think North Carolina, I think Virginia, I think states where tobacco, uh, those are not the only states where tobacco is grown, but those are states that I uh, think of where tobacco is such an integral part of that land. Um, it's not even just part of those communities or even states, but it went back all the way back to the uh, Native Americans that live there and how tobacco is such a um, it's been a part of the human race for centuries uh, tobacco is um, it's even though it's you know uh, looked at in a negative light in our society now and the media and and, and other things because of the health effects of, of using too much of it um, you know, it. No one can deny that tobacco is a unique um, part of our lives and our traditions, and um, it um, does have some unique um, um, attributes. And so, anyway, that is Cavendish. So let's go ahead and take a look at the product. So Cavendish is obviously usually a, pa a pipe tobacco um, that is. Um, got that unique aroma and blend and when smoked it just you know presents a very unique and beautiful scent um so here you have douglas or should i say clay be night um <laughs> clay if you're watching a uh, huge fan um if you folks don't know clay knight um he's on youtube clay be night he is a um uh geez what he is paa royalty folks um he started the facebook fan group he has tremendous knowledge he has the best handlebar um mustache um west of the mississippi and um a tremendously huge heart good person um beautiful soul 
Um, if you folks don't know him, um, you need to. And um, yeah, he even has a YouTube channel. Uh, just a really nice guy. And uh, anyway, I think of him when I see this because I think this is one of his favorite scents. And I remember watching one of his videos and he's sharing about that. And so anyway, Clay, this one's for you, buddy. Anyway, it's very simple. One of the most simplest label arts I've seen from PAA. You have four colors, orange, black, pink, white. Um, it is very, very simple. CK6, what am I getting into detail on that? Okay, so this particular tub has a very, very, oh, look at that. It's almost like dry. Look at that, you see that? So that's very interesting. Usually it's very moist because uh, it's butter. And I'll show you folks here. Sometimes I haven't done this yet. But there's some things I'm going to be doing soon, but it's a sneak peek of what I'm going to be doing. Uh, you can see this is like a butter. You see how that just kind of just like dissipates and goes into. Oh, man. Um, but anyway, this is a beautiful canyon pour. Let's do our first smell. Mm. So two particular notes come out to me right off the top. The cherry. And then a... Um, I don't know if it's a flu or a burly tobacco. So there's different types of tobacco. But this has a very um, strong earthy smell to this um, tobacco so it's probably burly flu is a little bit more uh, sweeter but yeah this has a um definitely a cherry scent this is not as strongly scented as i thought it would be to me this is a um i would say a five and a half i think it's right in between five and six so i was expecting a seven or an eight um but this is more of a five between a five and a six so about a five and a half i'm gonna give it and um i think that's um maybe by design um because cavendish can be maybe you know a scent that uh could be uh, you know in strong quantities or strong concentrations it could be um I guess people could look at you a certain way, right? Just because of the negativity of of, of tobacco and how much it's uh, uh, some people, um, you know, put uh, tobacco. Um, so it's one of those um, things that um, can be very polarizing, and I understand why. So, but anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and read from the website. Hmm. It's actually kind of complex. There's other things here, too. Um, so anyway, um, so Cavendish description, scent profile, dark Kentucky and burly tobacco. I knew it. Cherry wood, vanilla bean, cedar, leather, and a kiss of smoke. Interesting. Um, this, my friends, is the original pipe tobacco scent shave product. It's true. The second scent I ever made and a personal favorite. Interesting. Being that Cavendish is, was always my favorite blend to puff. The Earl Grey of pipe tobacco. Wow. So this is um, the second scent that he ever made. And this is Douglas's personal favorite. Wow. Cavendish is a very aromatic blend of dark Kentucky and burly tobacco, enhanced with the delicate taste of cherry and just a touch of vanilla, reminiscent of a heavily fermented leather pouch of loose pipe tobacco projecting a round, rustic yet exquisite, sweet, nostalgic aroma. Wow, so good. All right, I'm interested to try out the aftershave because I wonder if that's where we get the where we get the juice, um, where we get the punch. So let's look at the ingredients. Okay, so rose water, it's pretty straightforward. 
Let's go ahead and smell this. Let's see. We have a orifice reducer. Oh wow, this is really so, so this has more of the vanilla. Oh, this smells so good, guys, gals. Wow, so you have the vanilla and the cherry with that tobacco. This is a beautiful, beautiful aftershave. Again, the aftershave just makes this a winner. It just is such a difference maker. His, his aftershaves and colognes are just so good. And again, this is the last thing that get, goes on to, I mean, the alcohol, right? And when you wipe away the scent from there, it's like cleans it away at the same time you're adding in this. So you get a much more stronger and a much more, um, I would say, comprehensive and complex uh, sweet tobacco, cherry, vanilla blend. Beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness. Now I can see why this is popular. Well, folks, I hope you folks enjoyed. And um, as always, I appreciate you for stopping by. This is Cavendish by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, we learned something new today. This is his second um, scent he's ever made and his personal favorite. So very, very cool. As always, take care of one another out there. Let's lift each other up. Let's make the world a better place, one person at a time, right? That's how it works, folks. Each person we, we come in contact with, whether we see in person or online, uh, always be positive. You positive man, imagine that. Imagine the world. As always, I appreciate you. Be safe. Be cool this uh, summer. Be warm if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. And um, peace.